sold out and fired up crowd. The WWE Universe is in fine form here tonight. They know they're about to witness something special, Michael. So are we, and I, for one, cannot wait. Dominic certainly wise beyond his years. He can do things in the ring that sometimes takes others years to learn. Dominic makes his dad, Rey Mysterio, proud every single time he competes. I've got a feeling Dominic Mysterio is going to make his dad even prouder here tonight. Get ready, gentlemen. Someone's about to get punched in the face. At a combined weight of 380 pounds, Danny Bush and Oni Lorcan. Beating these two is a tall order any night of the week. Two high caliber in ring competitors. Taking it old school tonight with a little two on two tag team action. Doesn't get any more classic than this. You truly get the best of both worlds, and sometimes pairings you really didn't see coming. Hey, kind of like you and me, Corey. I would very much like to be excluded from this narrative, Saxton. Nice amateur takedown. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Caught with a neck breaker. Oh. Short punch. DDT. This match grinded him down a little. Oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Just as heartening to see Mysterio struggle here. Yeah, only with impressive offense. And he's able to fight off Larkin. Mysterio is going to look to press on the advantage. The U-turn he needed in this match could have been right there. Shifts it back onto him. What a headbutt. Vicious. And he gets the tag. Here 
the snapmare. And a basement drop kick. Oh, oh, oh. Two count at this point has to be frustrated. All measured up. Oh, drop kick to the spine. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Oh my! And Dominic is really dialed in right now. Oni needs to re-strategize right away. He's getting a huge boost right now from all those chants and cheers. Got the tag. Got the tag. Punch right in the head. What a knockout punch. Oh, man. German suplex. And set him up. Oh, he is. That's going to hurt. This athleticism and agility. Oh, and the ropes. My goodness. Hold on a second. He might be finding a submission hold here. After everything, these two men have been through a little end like this. Will it end with a submission tap out? His body might give out at the. A single leg camel clutch and a great counter. He got whipped into that corner. Mysterio with great evasion. Across 
the top rope. Ooh, take it out the knee. his partner in now. Wow, that won't separate your shoulder. That'll divorce it. Oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. From behind, into the tournament. Nice 
nicely done. You can see he is feeling it now. Forced down the ring. Boom! These superstars have torn away endlessly, and this crowd is on their feet in full appreciation. An incredible sight to see. Tough position to be caught in here. Ooh, drop right in their face. Bears able to avert that. Oh, oh man! Oh, Talk about devastation. This is it. Oh, good. Right hand for good measure. Now, champion here. Finally got it. I can't believe this match is finally over. Sometimes a match can't live up to the hype, guys, but that one sure did. in sports entertainment. This is a duo that really proud before his career is said and done. There's no doubt about that. No light, only anarchy. The man who once fought for the people provided the light. Now, he sows seeds of discontent in the locker room. And his opponent from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 182 pounds, Mustafa Ali! The man who was once the infamous SmackDown hacker who took pleasure in revealing superstars' hidden secrets. Psychopath. He also caused physical chaos with retribution attacking superstars remember Corey the night they, they destroyed and then chased us out of the performance center yeah I'd rather not relive that horror call but the fact is with Mustafa Ali is still on a mission to tear down WWE to its very foundation a win here tonight goes towards proving that mission statement The whole WWE Universe has come to know Pete Dunne by his moniker, The Bruiserweight, a name which illustrates Dunne's brutality inside the ring. Now, being in the ring with Pete Dunne is kind of like being locked from the top. Double stop. He can do it here. One, two, a kick out before three. You have to think this 
battle is starting to weigh down on him. Stomping. Ouch. Mustafa Ali with the counter. Looking wobbly in the corner. Capitalizes on Dunn's mistake. Position, folks. Holly with a skillful reversal. Kick to the gut. Right to run into a neck breaker.
steal the show here tonight, and he looks more than ready to deliver on that pass. Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable. Big time match on tap. When the competition level is this high, you can bet it will be memorable. Gable might be one of the few guys you could call a savant of wrestling. Gable's got such a sharp mind for in-ring tactics and has tuned his body into a pure wrestling machine. No question that Gable is custom built for this industry, but I think he's getting a little carried away with the Alpha Academy stuff. His training tactics are borderline bizarre and at times up high.
dangerously close to ending it all there. Chad Gable into the turnbuckle, rolling through the German suplex. Gable on the verge here. Two, two three. And that'll do it. It's finally over with the win. The superstar picks up a huge victory here tonight. Much deserved, Michael. Yeah, but I don't think his opponent is happy about losing here. I mean, you've got to be humiliated and embarrassed. He thought he was going to win this match. Oh, I kind of did too. I can't wait for this. This is going to be an unbelievable matchup. I've been waiting to see this one go down for a long, long time. It's going to happen in moments. Oh, well, we don't have to wait much longer. Oh, look at Driving the superstar kidney first into the apron. The official looking to separate these, these oh. two. The brawl is underway. Chaos. And in the ring, it's Joaquin Wilde, the high flyer out of Legato del Fantasma. Wilde certainly lives up to his name. The man's a born risk taker who's fully committed to honoring the Lucha Libre legacy that Legato del Fantasma has prioritized. An in-ring style that is all his own. Perhaps we'll see Wilde's risk-taking approach in this matchup. And taking him on, looking for a pinfall. Lifts the shoulder up. Solid one count, but not there yet. Yeah. Oh, a moonsault. Yeah. Stopping down. And a kick. He eludes the contact. Big kick right to the gut. A heel hook. Locked in, you can almost hear the opponents yelling in agony. He's lost some of his win now. Suplex delivered! Wild gets out of there. He went right into that turnbuckle. Uh-oh, wrist lock. Springboard DDT! And will this be it? the shoulder before three. Somehow, some way. Uh, oh, leaping through the air. Wild is in a state of distress. Wild's gonna have to dig down deep here. Right now, I just don't know what it's gonna take. Oh, Dorado caught by the counter. Wild finding a way to slow his opponent's yeah. assault down. Yeah, Wild able to stop that surge. Dead cover here. from his beating heart will not be stopped and it's gonna take composure now could just need one more big move effectively targeting the arm and Lindsay takes the brunt of the situation there yeah wild well, knocked him around in the stop fitting of legato del fantasma oh, oh, oh. ah look at this Ooh, that might have just broken something and wild is in control yeah working with impressive offense Specifically targeting the leg. Stopping the leg. Dorado is out of the way. Boom. Dorado fires back. Into the turnbuckle. Gets him in position. This is not going to end. Look at the ears. What athleticism. Oh, my goodness. Was coming. He's trying to talk with the back of the neck here. I have to say, I feel like we are just what he thinks he has it. He breaks the ribs count after one. That's smart. Taking the one to catch your breath.
deserves another look. Here we go. played his prowess in victory. We really saw what these competitors were made of here tonight. Yeah, especially the winner. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the way from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 199 pounds, Johnny Gargano. Matches of this caliber with this level of talent showing their skill, this is why I do what I do. Make way for the Irish ace. This is going to be good. And his opponent from Gray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds. He is the Irish ace, Jordan Chandler. Uh, this man began training at 12 years old. He was actually trained by Finn Balor. <laughs> Obviously, Balor taught him well as this man owns the longest cruiserweight title reign in WWE history at 438 days. Hey, he's got a big ego. All attitude. But Jordan Devlin always backs it up in the ring. Confidence personified. a competitor who never gives up on his goals and will do anything to achieve them. Now he even teaches others the so-called way so that they too can succeed like he has. Yeah, Gargano shows them how to be duplicitous, self-absorbed, and greedy. Johnny's all about number one and he'll do whatever he must to protect his own interests. This is not a guy people should be looking up to. Gargano is now a man who's about getting his way by any means necessary. And then there's Jordan Devlin, who draws a lot of comparisons to Finn Balor, though Jordan actually grew up idolizing Shawn Michaels. Devlin's taken a lot from both of those superstars' styles and made it his own. And it's safe to say he's not afraid to make those comparisons. Devlin is what taking flight. Misses. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. of reversals there. Jordan Devlin is so often just as good as he says he is. How do you knock him off his perch, Corey? Not to put too fine a point on it, but you have to punch him in the mouth ASAP. Don't let Devlin build momentum or confidence because those are his keys to victory. What's this, Corey? I think they're looking for the Romero special. Oh, no. It is. Crucial escape here. He's got him scouted. Looking for a high-risk 
for wear there as his opponent goes to work. Gargano certainly got his way with that attack. Counter! And now there's an opening. Johnny anticipated that. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. He had it scouted. Double leg takedown. Rushing double stop. to land. Oh, a huge double stop in the core. Got the legs trap. Stepped over. Cloverleaf. Well, we're going to escape from Gargano here. Gargano's resiliency is being put to the test. And he releases the hold. He may get the three count right here. This is it. Let's take another look at these guys in action. Here is your winner. He is the Irish Ace, Jordan. mile in this win. I agree. What a win. Johnny Wrestling should change his nickname after a loss like that. That was embarrassing. Sinister. One of the words that I would use to describe this man. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Weighing in at 201 pounds. Tommaso! Tommaso Ciampa realized being friendly isn't going to get him to the top. Being loved by the WWE Universe isn't a priority. Ciampa cares about one thing in this world, himself. And Ciampa also realized that stabbing people in the back will get you what you want in life, in his view. He's not wrong. Trample the weak, hurdle the dead. Some love him, some loathe him, but everyone respects him. Well, lucky for him, Ciampa's not here to make friends. He's here to put food on the table for his family. And Ciampa will not stop until he gets exactly what he wants. An entrance befitting of a true superhero. The best part about it, Saxton, is this isn't a movie. This isn't a comic book. This is real life. Not CGI, not special effects. Ricochet is the real deal. And his opponent 
from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! Ricochet is set for action, it's just amazing to watch, but the match isn't even started yet. Well, Ricochet better be careful not to tire himself out before the bell rings. I just love to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show because Ricochet is going to do something special here tonight. sure everyone has been anticipating this one as we bear witness to the one and only Tommaso Ciampa, a competitor who isn't afraid to unleash his inner madman in the ring. Ciampa's already one tough individual on his good days. When he lets himself slip into those dark, rage-filled corners of his mind, he becomes a truly intimidating foe. I know we're all curious to see what Ciampa has in store for us tonight. And Ricochet is coming in hoping to show us and his opponent something new. The question to me is, can Ricochet adapt and evolve? Can he change his game for each and every opponent? Something to keep an eye on is this. Not allowing that to go on any longer. Ooh, and it got worse. The common task against Ricochet is to ground him, but Corey, that's a difficult one when the man has athleticism like something out of a comic book. No doubt Ricochet can be a real-life superhero, but I don't care how many buildings you can leap over. If you're cold on a second, could be a matter of time submission being locked in. This won't win the match, but he's doing a lot of damage. Kneeing his way out. And he's free. Say good night, K.O.D. And set him up. Oh, oh the yes. That's going to hurt. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. That's mounted with punches and not. Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. Oh, a big uppercut. So uppercut. Gosh. Champa gets countered there. O'Connor roll. And frustration might be starting to set in. Setting him up. Got the head scissors on. Oh, elbow in the face. He is revving up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. Check out the springboard. And misses on the springboard. Oh, Ricochet wasn't able to adapt to prevent that one. What rage from Champa being shown. He's heading up top. Thinking big. First up top. Dummy knee drop. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Ricochet just so unpredictable. Ricochet from the top. Boom, perfectly timed with the knees. Nothing more Ricochet can do. Cover! One, two count. Oh, shoulder up before three. 
Where is Ricochet finding these reserves? How did he kick out of that? Pure and unfiltered disbelief on the face of Ciampa. He thought this is over, but this match will continue. Oh, impact Project Ciampa. That's got to be it. There's two. Let's take another look at these guys getting after it. strikers in all of WWE. The statement is hard to argue with. We are looking at one of NXT's most successful competitors ever. And his opponent from Vancouver, British Columbia, weighing in at 200 pounds, Kyle O'Reilly! Well, here's a man who's held the NXT Tag Titles for nearly 700 days and even won the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Cole, this is a man who's also held top singles titles all over the independent scene and has skills to continue that here in WWE. and striking skills, supremely confident. O'Reilly's already backed it up and continues to do so. The brighter the lights, the harder the strikes for Kyle O'Reilly. Gifted and in ring talent as we've ever seen. Absolutely. Well, we're talking about a superstar with an extensive background in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and kickboxing, among other martial arts. We're talking about a master striker. We are talking about a submission specialist, a tag team specialist, a singles specialist. Need I go on? Because I can. 
It's certainly difficult to find an aspect of the in-ring game that Kyle O'Reilly doesn't excel in, that's for sure. But we'll see how he measures up against Xavier Woods, a man who loves competition so much. Cover! Shoulders are down! He forces a break before the count of two. Kicking out there really has to make his opponent question his game plan. Oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. Xavier Woods is picking the competition apart. Woods is all fucked. Oh, hold on. Is he thinking of the submission here? Oh, look at this. Locked in. Submission move here. The official ask him. Is he going to tap? Nice escape. Quickly slips behind. Snap German suplex. Just laying it in. A drop kick from the middle rope. Nicely done. Tying up both of their opponents. Oh. Legs. Snap. Hammer lock. Uh oh, uh oh. Pointing in on the arm. The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. Oh my god. Momentum is running away from Woods here. This is where Woods will be tested. Uh-oh, look out. Tiger suplex. And Xavier wasn't looking. And he goes for the pin. No, oh, kick out. Got to change something up with the pin technique. Ooh, harsh kick. Woods gets him back. And Woods puts a quick stop to the momentum that was mounting against him. But Woods still has more to do to get this fully in his favor. There's the bulldog. Will this be enough? Two. And he kicks him at a two. He got close there. It could be do or die time. Woods with his opponent. What a punishing attack by Xavier Woods. He paid for that one. Oh, man, big time. Oh, my Lord. Hammer lock. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, a weakening arm breaker. They're fading fast. Uh, this one's over. Tap out coming. Hey, watch this. Letting him free. Had him where he wanted him, but maybe he has something better planned. We got a cover. One, two, three. He wins. He wins. Superstar picks up a huge victory here tonight. Much deserved, Michael. Yeah, but I don't think his opponent is happy about losing here. I mean, he's got to be humiliated and embarrassed. He thought he was going to win this match. Well, I kind of did too. Here comes the technical terminator. A physical reckoning and a consummate technician. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak. Drew Gulak, well versed in every submission hold in the book. And from what I hear, every one of them hurts. Yeah, the lights can go out with just one move from Drew Gulak. A true Broad Street bully. Ready to prove his worth on his own. And his opponent from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 200 pounds, 
Roderick Strong. Everything about Roderick Strong is inspiring from his messy upbringing to the way he trains like a machine in the gym. Roderick Strong is a threat to everyone that opposes him in the ring. Success has gone through the roof. I guess Roderick was willing to give up a part of himself to achieve success. It's amazing how easily it is to fill a hole in yourself with championship gold, Byron. Drew Gulak seems to always have a chip on his shoulder. Always fighting hard, like he's got something to prove and everything to lose. It's one of the many things that I respect about Gulak, along with the impressive in-ring skill set he's developed over nearly two decades. Yeah, and when Gulak combines all that in-ring knowledge with his tenacious attitude, he's been known to produce some pretty spectacular results. And then you have Roderick Strong, a superstar who is a true hard worker and has developed a wealth of in-ring knowledge. There's no cutting corners when you're squaring up with a competitor of this time. And I have to say you're right. You guys can say they put in the same hour as Strong has, holding it down. You don't become the Messiah or the backbreaker overnight. Drew Gulak's deep personal can make him a pretty intimidating opponent. So what's the number one thing to keep in mind when facing him? You can't let Gulak take you down to the mat where he can get full control of you. Can he do it here? Quickly. He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. Elbow smash. Ah, oh, chop after chop, rapid fire knife edge chops. Boom. Oh no 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 no. a trampling. Oh, my God. Strong dodges just in time. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Goes into the pin. Strong kick out there. Still in it. Now, Byron, what's up? Oh, we're about to find out. Oh, my goodness. Just wearing down the opponent. Oh, body is not meant to bend that way. For the love of God. Oh, look at the elbows right to the push. Belly to back suplex coming. No. Definitely not where you want to be right now. Just carry it like a rag doll here. For the win! And he only stays down for a one count. You expect these pins to last much longer at this stage in the match. Double knee backbreaker! Now he's been put on the defensive. Cross the shoulders up and gotcha. what an attack from the Messiah of the Backbreaker. Knee strike to the face.
be painful. Half Crab is locked in deep. Give up now. Swallow your pride and submit. Just hang on. Hang on for just a... Oh, well, the torque on the knee. Rolling through now. A couple of kicks will break it. Belly to back suplex coming. This match is brutality starting to show up. He could pin his opponent right here. It's over. Two, three. Strong has done it. I didn't think he could. Many would consider this an upset, Byron. Yeah, a hard fought victory for this superstar, but he definitely earned it. Yeah, look at it. His opponent. Sore loser. Yeah, but apparently it backfired. That's what you get for not accepting a loss. And now the celebration can begin. 